everybody, it's me, Tasha Wolf, and today we are going to be talking about herbs. Now, before we get started about talking about that, um, the first video, or the video before this one, is energy. And we were talking about that and stuff like that, and I actually wanted to get very involved with all that stuff. It's just, um, I want you guys to be able to feel each other's energy, or your own energy, before um, I decide to get you guys started on that. And I need a partner to help me do this. So my mother doesn't want to be on camera. And um, my friend, um, I was going to have someone, you know, come by and help me out. So if you guys remember my cousin from one of my videos, um, Dance with Squirrel. I don't know if you guys remember, but like every time I hear her name, it makes me laugh. Um, but yeah, she's surprised to see this anyway. She's like one of my biggest fans. Um, but anyways, yeah, she'll be helping me out. She's not in town right now, so as soon as she's in town, we're going to start on those videos. So if we're working on something and all of a sudden I'm gone, or I do something different, which is that, it's because I finally got her here. So anyways, I hope you guys like the background music. Someone was saying put calming music on in the background. I was looking, and some of them made me laugh, and I think that's like disrespectful, but I'm sorry. Even my little sister laughed, so I don't know. If you guys like it, let me know. If you don't, and you just want me to play regular music, then let me know. Uh, but I tried the calming music because I was afraid it was going to be, like, distracting. Um, if there was words and stuff. But anyways, so today we're talking about herbs. You can get herbs dried or, you know, fresh. Um, a lot of times it's, like, best to have them dry, especially when you're making powders and stuff like that. You can have regular herbs that are, like, fresh or just raw, I mean, uh, dried out, to make your powders or to even make teas. Now, herbs are used for everything. There's herbal remedies. There's just everything. They have so many properties for love, money, lust, and, like, prosperity and everything like that. They have their own characteristics for basically, um, to make things manifest, like, you know, spirituality and, you know, love and stuff like that or even things that help with health. And um, I'm going to be showing you guys different remedies and stuff like that when I get around to it. Um, my favorite thing is powders. I really love doing powders and stuff like that. And um, another thing you can do with herbs is you can um, stuff your candle with herbs. You know, the, the pillar candles and stuff like that, but like the ones in the jars. Um, but yes, herbs isn't a really, like, complicated subject. It's very simple, and just each herb has properties to it. Um, you can make powders, you can make mojo bags, you can make um, tinctures, you can make potions, and just all kinds of stuff. Like, if you guys don't like using medication and everything like that, you can use um, home herbal remedies and stuff like that that can help out, and it's a lot more healthier to do things that way, too. But, when you get into herbs, or herbalism and stuff like that, you have to know about the herbs. Especially, like, medical-wise, because, um, some herbs can be poisonous. Some herbs you can't use too much, because it can cause, um, uh, like, you know, kidney or something failure. You have to be really, really careful, and be very smart about when you're using herbs and stuff like that, or even suggesting it to other people. So, when I do my powders and stuff and my tinctures and everything like that that I'm going to be doing for you guys, know that I've already researched it and everything like that and to be safe. In the videos, I will inform you if you can't use something too much or not. For example, the Cava Cava, the Lust Powder, I told you guys but very, very little because that stuff can be um, some pretty wicked stuff. But it's also been said that it isn't, so just to make sure... Um, I said just a little bit until I know legitimately, like, which way it's going to go. Um, but I won't be putting you guys in danger with any of these things that I have you make. I really, like, look into it before I go giving it out to you guys. Um, and for those of you, like, kids and stuff like that who are young and watch my videos, be very careful. You got to know about it first. Like, I suggest for those of you who are really young, only do it through me, like the powders and stuff. Uh, but if you guys have knowledge on it and everything like that, go for it. But yeah, it's very, very important you guys not to do stupid stuff with uh, herbs. 
so I barely like took a breath through that. But anyways, uh, we're going to be doing some powders, and then we're probably going to end up talking about stones and stuff like that. Um, so you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And another thing too is my mom let me use her camera, so that's why like the sound is great. And not only that, it sounds a little too awesome in a way to where it makes like a sound and like a like a sound just constantly. So it's not just like my list my list problem, it's also like the camera. So yeah, sorry guys about that. So anyway, two books I would like to recommend when it comes to herbs would be Incense, Oils, and Brews by Scott Cunningham. He has a lot of great information on herbs and stuff like that in here. And Cunningham's Encyclopedia for Magical Herbs. This is filled with all kinds of information and this is the book I'm always constantly using. As you can see I have bookmarks of all the herbs that I have and then I just be like boop and I go right to my page. But the setup is really nice and everything like that. Very, very great book to start out with when you want to get into herbalism. And there's also another book that I have. It has like the different medical terms and everything like that in there. As soon as I find it, I'll show it to you guys. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. So I'll see you later. Goodbye and blessed be.